Hi moms and moms-to-be, congratulations. This is an exciting time. I want to ask you a question. How much time are you spending on preparing for your baby's arrival, or maybe you have, uh, and then the delivery, mm, but not really your recovery? How much time have you thought about that? I totally get it. I have spent so much time looking at different strollers and bottles and what's the best for my baby and how to manage those sleepless nights. Um, you take classes on that delivery, what happens? And for me, in any case, no one told me what happens. How do you recover? You just assume that you bounce back, but it's not always the case. And depending on your age, it can take a little longer than you expect. Um, and I know that we all want to have our body back the way it was pre-pregnancy. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about what you can do and I'm a little bit older now. I can definitely input what I wish I knew back then. If you've delivered long time ago, it's not too late. It's never too late, right? One of the best things you can do for your pelvic floor is to do your Kegel exercises. Yes, those hard to do, hard to understand how to do exercises for your pelvic floor muscle. Now, these pelvic floor muscles are essentially like a hammock supporting your bladder, your uterus, and your rectum. Um, and it basically is attached at the pubic bone and at the tailbone, and you just wanna tighten that, and it surrounds and supports underneath all these organs. So you want to tighten up, feel like you're tightening, and through your spine, up through your spine, pulling upwards if you're sitting up. Uh, sometimes it's easier to lie down and do it just because you're not fighting gravity. But you want to tighten up and not push outwards like you're having bowel movement. And if you still can't figure out which uh, muscle that is, when you urinate, try stopping your urine midstream. And that stopping movement is how you tighten up and it closes around the urethra um, and tightens the vagina as well. Now, to do it correctly, um, the doctors tell you that you need to do this three times a day, three sets of like six tightenings and hold, tighten and hold. Um, so that's pretty hard to remember to do and it's pretty hard to know how to do it correctly. There are devices out there that can help you, but let me tell you that all the vaginal devices that are out there, some just give you feedback to see if you're tightening or not, and some actually contract the muscles for you. They, you can't use them for at least six months. And trust me, after you deliver a baby, you do not want to put anything in your vagina and use it before, before then. There is a device, and I will talk about that a little bit later. Um, so the problem about these vaginal devices is you have to lock yourself in your bedroom for in privacy, be flat on your back for 20 minutes a day. Uh, who has time for that? Especially when you're not getting any sleep at night. Uh, time and time for yourself is a luxury. So that is usually off the table. Uh, there is a device out there called the Elotone device that does it externally. The best thing about this is you can place it on your body, on your perennial area. Uh, it's very thin and flexible. It looks like this. Uh, you put it right on your pelvic area, get dressed and do whatever you need to do because I know that you are so busy. Uh, and then you just uh, turn it on for a 20 minute treatment and it does 100 Kegel contractions the correct way for you. Uh, so that is one of the best things that you can do for your pelvic floor recovery. If you ignore your pelvic floor health and you don't do anything at all, um, eventually it may get back to its previous shape. It may take longer or it may not, and you would start to feel uh, worse and worse problems. I don't want to scare you one, but um, there is something called incontinence that starts after you deliver babies often one out of three women has incontinence after they deliver babies it becomes one out of two women over the age of 50 
Uh, and so you want to get everything tightened, learn how to tighten your pelvic floor muscles before then. Uh, and it's never too late if you are past that point too. So thank you for listening. Uh, take care of your pelvic floor and congratulations. Bye-bye.